Hello wrestling fans, I am back on the road again. This time I'm going to Money in the Bank Live from Chicago, Illinois at the Austin Arena. Oh yeah, check this out everyone. This is like a like the Flintstones. A bit, you know. Big quarry. Big quarry. Pretty awesome, huh? Limestorm. Limestorm. Or whatever. Wow, you can't see I'm not gonna get any closer. But anyway, so that's what I'm gonna say about that. And it's 92 degrees in Illinois, so um, I was um, next time I'll get closer to um, our restaurant. We're going to Chili's, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Later. Hello, wrestling fans. I'm here at uh, Chili's with my dad and myself. We're gonna get a bite to eat. Then we're gonna hit at the All State Arena for Money in the Bank. So I'll see you in a bit live at the All State Arena inside. Okay. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the pay view tonight. Later. Hello, wrestling fans. I'm here with my dad at the All State Arena. So I'll see you in a little bit inside. So everyone enjoy the view and. Since 2005, when John Cena made that um, 
spinning belt. It was awesome and it got very, very boring. Okay, now I'm going to discuss the pay-per-view overall, okay? Now, the first Money Bank was the SmackDown. It was awesome, spectacular. I loved it. When Sheamus powerbomb, um, sent Carr through the ladder. Awesome, yes. And then he got carried out on a stretcher. And I had a feeling he did never came back, and he didn't. And um, I'm very shocked and surprised that Daniel Bryan got the briefcase for Money Bank. And hopefully he could hold on it longer than like one day or whenever. And now if he does cash it in like tonight or for um, the TV taping and we, we, we find out on YouTube, I don't want to find out about it at all. And I want no spoilers. Say, Ryan, check it out. Check this awesome video. I don't want no spoilers at all. And um, now for the Raw one, it was awesome. Great moments. But I don't really think that SmackDown did a little better on Raw, from my opinion, because they have more high flyers. Um, that's kind of cool that the real one, great. But I was thinking, hmm, why the hell does he need it? Isn't he number one contender? But I'll get that in a moment. Um, now, the Divas match was okay. Nothing really spectacular, but Kelly Kelly did a fantastic job. I think she's the, the leader of the Divas division. Because who else is good besides Awesome Kong or AK, whatever his name is, her name is, and WWE. But once she come back for the pregnancy or whenever she has a baby and get healthy, I think she'll be the next um, Divas champion down the road. Maybe she'll be back by fall time. I don't know if WWE will keep on. Hopefully, that'd be stupid if they let her go be because she got, got pregnant and have kids. That's very dumb of WWE. But anywho, um, I think this whole peer review from last night was great. I think 8 out of 10. I think it was a lot better than last year, but it's going to get better and better every year. And hopefully WWE keeps it. I cannot wait to find out the, the, the results and the ratings. If they show ratings for um, peer review wise, the buy rates, uh, hopefully it's be good. Now I really think, from my opinion, I think this is a bit better peer review than WrestleMania 27, from my opinion, so far. Best peer review of 2011. We gotta find out what's gonna happen next month, SummerSlam. I think hopefully SummerSlam is gonna be awesome. Now speaking of SummerSlam, they had an awesome promo they showed last night from Money Bank with the Miz and the Divas, and it looked like the Miz is gonna turn face. You guys agree with that or disagree? Now about this, um, about this Orton and um. Christian match was okay, nothing was spectacular, very boring overall. I really think that Orton's gonna turn heel and Christian's gonna turn face. I get that feeling down the road, I get that gut feeling, you know? But that's kinda weird. We see two new champions last night. Very two new champions. Is that weird? I don't know. Very weird. Um I don't know. I really hopefully that Christian and Orton don't feud no more, but I really think that Orton's wants no rematch at SummerSlam again, blah, 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 blah. Um, what else? Uh, did anybody get tickets for um, WrestleMania? Anybody? But today, it was earlier. I didn't. I'm not going. I wish. Um, I got a couple of pickups. And I uh, you guys enjoy Raw tonight. And uh, hopefully that's not a long video. If it is, I apologize. Okay, let's get on with the awesome pickups. Okay. Here it is. My money in a bank. T-shirt, the official. Probably this one will be on W.com eventually when the DVD comes out. So I'm the first one to get it. Just kidding. Just teasing everyone. Check this out. Check this bad boy out. Is that awesome? Awesome! Okay, now for that. Just kidding. I'm just in the good mood today because CM Punk is the new W champion. Oh yeah, woo! Okay. See, is that cool? All the legends and all that. Now, I did not... I found this on the way out of arena with my dad and myself. Free cup. Yes, I rinsed it. Is that kind of cool? And I have one for you too. Governor Football, a.k.a. Nick. So, whenever you come to my area, I got a cup, cup for you. I just said a few minutes ago. Okay. 
Now I've got a couple of things I want to show you. Right before my dad and myself left the arena, some guys were passing some flyers and all that stuff. And check this out to all my wrestling gurus. See, is that kind of cool if you go read that? DX and Scotty Two Hati and who the hell that is and Macho Man Randy Savage. I think they're gonna have a special thing for him. I thought it was a um, WWE trademark, isn't it? Comment down below. So is that kind of cool? And it's the day after my birthday. Awesome, isn't it? It's in somewhere in Illinois, see? I don't know if you can see that or not. So give me your thoughts, give me your opinions. And um, and the next time WWE's coming back to Chicago at the Allstate is the day after Christmas. Fantastic. I doubt I'm going because number one, it's the day after Christmas, and number two, it'll be the last snow in the ground. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't mind missing another law, so I don't care. Don't bother me. Now, my next pickup is. Not my next pickup, is my only pickup. DVD pickup. Awesome. Great DVD, from my opinion. I'm on disc one so far. We all know he's a Hall of Famer. I talked to Steel Beach last week. He didn't pick this up because he's not a big um, Ray Mysterio fan. Everyone, everyone has their own opinion. Great. I love I love the artwork. And all this, how they do this. I hope they do this in the next DVD. They have to do this on Blu-ray, from my opinion. Um, now, speaking of DVDs tomorrow, Cowboys Punisher is coming on DVD. Is, is anyone going to pick it up? I am because I'm a WWE collector. And other DVDs. Now, DVD I want to pick up is Oh My Gosh. I think it comes out in August sometime. And the other one is called The New Millennium. Because Steven Bridge told me, if you get on Blu-ray, right, right, um, there's a great match. Old school match. Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar from uh, SmackDown. I forgot what year. Iron Man match. I, I don't know how long, but that's a fantastic match. I forgot who won it, and I don't care. because I want to actually try to remember and um, I know SummerSlam is coming around the corner. I will do a special video about SummerSlam. So stay in tune to that. Maybe you guys want to do a video response. That'd be kind of cool. So stay tuned to that. And maybe I'll pick up some wrestling cards in the near future and show you guys that. How you guys like that? I do have some wrestling cards in my room somewhere. I got to show you, show you that. So um, I show you some wrestling cards in the past. I don't know if you guys see, see these. I don't know. If I did, I apologize. Um, what else? <sighs> Man, it's very hot again in my area. Holy cow. Yesterday is 92 degrees. Woo! Okay, that's enough of that. If it's a long video, I'm sorry. Okay? Peace out and enjoy Raw. It's going to be an epic show. S sorry about that. Um, what else? Before I let you guys go, McMahon will be live on Raw. From Wisconsin. Um, what else? That's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh yeah, I tripped um, on this thing, so I'm not tipsy. I was drinking Mountain Dew. Brought here by Team Rai Rai. Please subscribe to my awesome channel. Okay, peace out and enjoy it all. Now I'm out of here.